I took my radio out to use it the other day, and I hadn't used it in many months, and hooked it up to the antenna and the ground, and did the tuning, and wasn't getting much of anything, not even much static. But I knew from past experience that sometimes when you put a radio away for a long period of time, you take it out and it has to do something. It has to kind of warm up. I know that's kind of silly. It's from the vacuum tube days, but I kind of wondered what was happening. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but it's something that, you know, if you put a radio away, you take it out, you say, okay, it's not working, so the radio's no good. Maybe I throw it away. Maybe the diode's bad, something, something. But if you just give it a little bit of time, you tune into a strong station, the signal will get louder and louder until it's back to normal. And I thought, hmm, uh, what can do that? Well, so normally, you know, it's, if it's been sitting away a while, I take some sandpaper and clean up the, the coils. Um, don't like to do that too much because obviously you wear the copper off. But uh, yeah, that didn't really help. And again, I need to be patient and just kind of tune around on it until I get, a, get a, the best I can possibly do, which is kind of just staticky. And sure enough, over time, maybe like a minute to a minute and a half, it starts to come in loud and then it's back to normal. So I got on the internet and I started looking around. And uh, I don't know, there's not a lot of good information on these diodes, on these uh, the 1N34A and the DK9 diodes. Um, yeah, the uh, so I thought maybe they're uh, depolarizing or something. You know, maybe they need to be repolarized or whatever. So let me read off my notes here uh, so I don't tell you something wrong. So one of the things said that it's called surface and bulk leakage effects. And it said over time, contamination, humidity, or charge accumulation on the surface of the diode can lead to increased leakage current. This is especially relevant in high impedance circuits like this one, where small leakage of currents can degrade performance. So a brief period of biasing can help restore optimal operation by stabilizing charge distributions. Sounds reasonable, but I can't really find anything super high tech, you know, any of the uh, PhD type papers to back that up. Uh, what was the other thing I found? Uh, oxidation and surface degra de degradation. Well, this is inside of a glass envelope, so I'm not quite sure how that would happen. But it says if it's been exposed to atmospheric moisture, well, yeah, glasses actually will absorb water, so I guess it could happen. Slight oxidation might occur on the surface, altering leakage currents. Short period of biasing and possibly mild thermal cycling can mitigate these effects. Okay, that was another thing. And then the last thing I found was electrostatic charge accumulation in floating configurations. If it's left floating, so not connected to any biasing, well, yeah, it's just sitting, the, the raw circuit sitting here. Uh, so accumulated electrostatic charge could influence its initial response. Uh, I guess it could. Uh, kind of a stretch. Uh, applying the correct bias voltage for a short period helps restore normal operating conditions. If you put your radio away for a long period of time or you buy one that hasn't been used for a long period of time, just, you know, try tuning it, hooking it up to a good antenna, making sure you should get just a tiny bit of static as you're moving, you know, wipers or tuning it or whatever or tapping the antenna on the, onto the uh, connection, something like that should give you a reasonable, some kind of a slight staticky sound. And just try that for a while and yeah, it works. Again, I'm not really finding the great reasons, great reasons why it does work, but it definitely does work. Okay, well that was it for this uh, brief little public service announcement. I hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentations.